Welcome back to today's episode on Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on percentage composition. How to calculate the percentage by mass of a particular element making up a compound. Now you can see the formula written on the board. It is percentage composition is equal to atomic mass of elements in the compound times number of atoms of that element in the compound over molar mass of the compound times 100. So it means here that if, for example, we are asked, the question says, let's solve the first question. And the question says, calculate the percentage of hydrogen comma sulfur comma and oxygen in the compound in the compound H2SO4 so this is the compound they are asking us to calculate the percentage of hydrogen the percentage of sulfur and the percentage of oxygen. It is very easy. First thing first, we are to calculate the overall molar mass of the compound. Now, what is the atomic mass of hydrogen? One, atomic mass of sulfur, 32, and atomic mass of oxygen, 16. So let's get the molar mass of the compound before can I start calculating the percentage composition of each element that makes up this compound. And there are three elements that makes up this compound. So let's get the molar mass of H2SO4, molar mass of H2SO4. Now, the atomic mass of hydrogen, one. How many atoms of hydrogen do we have? Two atoms, so because you're having H2 here, so one times two plus, what is the atomic mass of sulfur? 32 plus, what is the atomic mass of oxygen? 16 times four is equal to, so when we, when we hit our calculator, we get the molar mass of this full compound to be 98 grams, per mole so that is the molar mass of the compound so let's go ahead and calculate the percentage composition of hydrogen first that makes up this compound so percentage composition of hydrogen okay now let's look at the formula once more i said to calculate percentage composition we say atomic mass of elements now percentage composition of hydrogen now becomes what is the atomic mass of the element which is hydrogen now one times number of atoms of the elements in the compound so how many atoms of hydrogen are we having here two atoms so we say one times two over what is the molar mass of the full compound it is 98 grams per mole times 100 so what will be the percentage of hydrogen in this compound so let's press calculator and get the answer it becomes 1 times 2 over 98 times 100. So the percentage composition of hydrogen becomes 2.041%. So that is for hydrogen. Now let's go ahead and solve for the percentage composition of sulfur in this compound. So percentage composition of sulfur is equal to recall atomic mass of elements. What's the atomic mass of sulfur? It is 32 times number of atoms of elements in the compound how many atoms of sulfur do we have in the compound one one atom of sulfur so we say times one over what is the molar mass of the full compound 98 grams per mole times 100 so what will be the percentage composition of sulfur it becomes 32 over 98 times 100 that is 32.7 percent so that is the percentage composition of sulfur in H2SO4. Now let's go ahead and solve for the last, which is percentage composition of oxygen in this compound. Now this is very easy. We just say percentage composition of oxygen is equal to the atomic mass of the element, which is oxygen now, which is 16, times the number of atoms. How many atoms of oxygen do we have here? We have four atoms, four atoms. So 16 times four over the molar mass, 98 times 100. So what will be the, uh, the percentage of 
oxygen in this respiratory pump 16 times 4 over 98 times 100. So when we do that, percentage formation of oxygen becomes 65.31%. Now, to be sure if your answers are correct, what you simply do is to add the percentage of all the elements. So let's see if it's going to give us 100% because percentage is over 100. So let's quickly do that to check if our answers are correct. So we know already percentage is over 100. So let's bring for percentage um, conversion of, hydro, of hydrogen because percentage of hydrogen plus percentage of sulfur plus percentage of oxygen is supposed to give us 100%. So what's the percentage of hydrogen? 2.041% plus sulfur, that is a uh, 32.7% uh, plus oxygen, which is 65.31%. So let's hit our calculator. Let's see if it's going to give us 100. That is 2.041 plus 32.7 plus 65.31. So let's see what we're going we're to get 100%. Okay, 100.0. 51%. Now you can see basically that the number of the percentage of all the elements making up the compound is basically 100%. So to be sure if your answers are correct, you at the end of calculation, you quickly do this to check if it's going to give you 100%. If it's not 100, you know the answer or the answers you've solved is not actually accurate. So you do well to check it and solve it better. So you provide this in the comment section below. Calculate the percentage composition of the percentage composition of um, sodium, aluminum, and fluorine in the compound NA3ALF6. Now, it must be noted that this compound is also called creolite. Okay, it is also called creolite. So, the atomic mass of sodium 23, the atomic mass of aluminum is 27, the atomic mass of fluorine is 19. So you do well to provide this in the comment section below. So I believe now to solve for percentage composition of elements in a compound is very, very easy. Just apply this formula and you get the answer. Thank you very much. God bless you all. And do well to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.